Okay, so I've gone ahead and actually created the material, and what I'm going to do uh, is step through it right now, uh, so you guys understand uh, what's going on. So let's do a uh, block preview here. Now, the interesting thing about a chrome material is that it, mostly it's just a reflection. So this is a practice in understanding how CubeMap works uh, in the material editor and how to create one in game. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at this first part here. I added a Fresnel and I multiplied it by a value of 0.1 uh, all across. And actually what I did here um, is added a constant 3 vector, but this is completely unnecessary because a constant 3 vector is if you wanted to add color. So this uh, actually would be the exact same result if I added a constant at a value of 0.1. Um, so that's a little optimization there. Okay, now what the Fresnel is doing is it's actually creating this specular highlight in the middle and darkening the outside. So if I go to this sphere uh, preview, I notice that the outside is a lot darker. And when you look at reference pictures of Chrome, you notice that there's a lot of uh, highlights and lowlights. And usually the outside, when you represent it, is kind of a little bit darker than the inside. Uh, it's stylized, yeah, for sure, but um, that's just how I'm doing it. So you can play with this value. I have it set at negative 2. Um, if you set it at positive, it actually gives a glow around the outside. We don't want that, so uh, that's why I set it at uh, negative 2 to make the inside brighter. And it's additively blending with the uh, cube map, as we'll see. So I'm multiplying this um, to bring that down a little bit. And then this is kind of uh, the meat of uh, what's going on here. This is this is the entire effect of the cube map. So what I did is I have my texture sample, which is referencing my cube map that I generated. And I threw in a vector transform. And you can find that under vector ops. Uh, and a reflection vector, which you can find under vectors uh, right there. And uh, using this chain, uh, I'm able to, when I rotate, kind of view into this portal. It looks like some kind of really neat reflection. So if I don't have this vector transform, it's kind of interesting. You're not actually able to rotate uh, around the cube map. So the vector transform uh, allows you to transform based on the camera movement and uh, under the vector transform settings you need to make sure that it's the source is tangent and that transform is, uh, is world. Alright, so let's back out a little bit. I'm going to take these two pieces that I just talked about and I'm going to multiply them. And um, that along with, um, remember that uh, that chrome reflection texture I created, this guy right here, um, I'm taking that right here and I'm uh, basically squeezing it along the, uh, the U axis by a factor of 20. So, uh, and I guess I can totally uh, bypass this multiplication here because it's doing absolutely nothing. Multiplying by 1 doesn't do anything. So I'm taking this and I'm multiplying it with uh, what I had up here. So let's take a look at what it would look like without that. Um, it's actually not too bad. I mean, you really, this is kind of an optional thing for me. Maybe I, maybe I really don't need it, but um, I think, you know, a lot of chrome materials have that kind of uh, serrated look. Uh, I don't. I don't really know what actually it's called. It's serrated is probably not the right the right word, but it has that like you know uh, all. I don't know the line, the vertical or horizontal lines. Uh, uh, maybe it's just some type of. I don't know. It's just an arty thing. Uh, actually, probably um, I'll just bypass that for now. But you know, you can play with it. It's not a big deal. You can do whatever you want. It's the you know the joy of working with materials. And then I went ahead and I threw in. A constant of one uh, right into the spec, and uh, that's giving me this uh, white highlight uh, right there. Quick little material editor to a bit of uh, information. If you want to like preview your spec, uh, or maybe you've got a normal map or something that you want to see, you can hold down the uh, in the preview window L, and actually move the the light source around. So this is actually really useful. Sometimes you instead of rotating the whole material, maybe you just want to rotate that. So that's pretty much it for the material, and you know uh, this doesn't look like much in the in the preview, but let's go ahead and apply it to a mesh now. Um, so let me save the package, and uh, what I've actually done is I've created uh, a quick mesh in 3D Studio. Uh, it's just a torus knot, and uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with how to bring a model in, we're going to go ahead and export selected, 
uh, and I'll call it mod, uh, not underscore sm and we're gonna export uh, ASCII scene export so let's go ahead and save that and um, basically what I need is mesh definitions materials um, mesh normals mapping coordinates geometry and shapes now I've actually haven't applied a material to um, this uh, mesh uh, and you'll notice that when I bring it in uh, so let's go ahead and import this model um, it's going to give me a warning that I, I haven't uh, actually um, let's put it in the mesh group it's going to give me a warning that I haven't uh, here is, uh, have no material reference uh, default texture will be applied to object that is perfectly fine Okay, so here's my mesh. I have this default uh, material applied to it. Um, if we expand the LOD info here, what we can do is throw our material that we just created right here. And uh, put that on here. And uh, yeah, so that looks pretty cool, I think. So let's go ahead and throw this not um, mesh in game and uh, we can do that by let me save the package real quick um, select our mesh and uh, actually we can just drag and drop it now I think using the content browser and there you go so a um, couple little extra little tidbits here um, G for game mode which is what you see, basically this is what you would see uh, in game and uh, what I'm going to do, uh, let's see here, if I alt uh, drag it you can make a copy of the object um, so we can you know obviously duplicate this very fast and if I, if I hold shift while I'm dragging it'll actually move the camera um, with the object in relation to the object so that's another little uh, quick tidbit and uh, pretty useful. So yeah, there's a nice chrome texture. Perhaps the spec is a little too high, um, but uh, yeah, you guys get the idea. Um, so hopefully uh, you guys all enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Please feel free to again uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, JavaHawk on Twitter. Always uh, feel free to email me any questions. Uh, this actually this tutorial was a requested tutorial. Uh, and I also got in actually two requests, how to import a model and uh, how to create a metal texture. So I'm always eager to help. Uh, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it.